Hello, beautiful souls. Here with me, Palo Santo. It's been a while. Oh my God. So happy to be back making a video and talking about this and being in this by and being with this energy. Um, it's amazing how you react to things when you truly mature and love yourself. Right now, I'm basically going through a situation that I'm surprised because I'm taking it easy. I am going kind of like a breakup, even though I was not in a relationship. I was in a situation shape, kind of complicated, which I can't do a little details right now at the moment because it's way too reason. But I'm just here focusing on what kind of learn from it. Remembering and treasuring every single good memory that I have. And instead of being hurt, even though I miss her like crazy because I love her. And, you know, after six months, you get used to people and you get some kind of attach. I'm not going to lie. And, you know, we have little things here and there. But overall, I have nothing but good memories I think for the first time in my life, I was with somebody that I did not try to change whatsoever. And I felt like I was accepted. Like every single thing that people in the past, I is been like a struggle or a common denominator. I don't think that that's how you say it, but a common factor um, that people have fight with me or disagree. This person was just like, it doesn't bother me, so that's just give me hope that there will be more people out there. Of course, this person, I, I still believe that is my twin flame, especially how everything has happened. And even only one time I felt some type of way, but it was a lot of energy and a lot of things going on with my family, my personal, like, like it was just a lot of energy and I felt like I was losing her as well. But other than that, like I never have felt like, like, I'm going to miss her. Like, I'm going to lose her because I miss her right now. Um, and my video cut off, so let's try it again. So, I just feel like this is just like a little pause. And I don't know what the future hold. Um, but, you know, I never lied to this person. I was authentic. I was honest. And if it's anything... I feel like in the future, maybe we can be really good friends regardless. I just want the best for her regardless. And, you know, I don't really believe in that BS of somebody telling you that they don't deserve you, that you deserve better, and that they can give you what you want. However, if it's the case, I can't respect the fact of, you know, if, you really know which I know what I want and what you deserve and you feel some type of way, which I really believe that we could have worked out things and be perfect. Like I said, we never argue. We have a great communication. We have amazing memories together. We did travel. We, we dance a lot. We, we, a lot of things that are so beautiful. We, we work out, we run, we meditate it. I have nothing but good memories. Like, you know, little things here and there. But if you feel like you're holding me back or whatever and you want to remove yourself to give me the opportunity, I feel like that's ultimate love because I did that once for different reasons. It wasn't because I didn't think it was enough. I just thought that I knew better what was better for that person. So... I removed myself out of the equation and it hurt me a lot and I did it out of love. I feel like I really love her deeply because for first time in my life, I didn't have a hidden agenda. I didn't really try to shame her. I just accept her 100% for who she is. And... <laughs> See that? Hey, love. Hey, baby, come on. I'm doing a video. Um, and I felt accepted for once. So that just gave me hope. I have to give you that. That just gave me hope that there's more people out there that will want to walk the path and have that amazing soul connection and, and be truthful with each other. 
Like, I'm not even mad. Like, I'm not going to sit here and say that I don't care because I do care. I miss her like crazy. I think of her almost all fucking day. And, you know, I just had to respect decisions and give her her space and see what's, what happened later. Um, <laughs> But truly, 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 it's amazing. Once you mature, you deal with situation, whole different things. It's true what they say when they say that ten mm, percent is the, the matter and ninety percent how you react to it. Low key, I'm kind of scared to be honest with you because I'm expecting myself to react in a different way or being crying or like stop eating. Even though I can't be sleeping enough because I remember just putting my alarm just to wake up because she works overnight and trying to talk to her. Like I miss her texts, I miss or goofy silly times. That's one thing I'm gonna really miss about this. Like we were so silly. We have so much laughter together and and just be like or inner kids were there this person is younger than me um time will see i i still think that she's my twin flame and let's see what happens but i'm just happy and i just really hope that the universe let her keep the learnings and everything that i try to teach her and you know i'm a crazy person kind of like you know because i i like drinking i'm wild i'm bold but at the same time i'm spiritual and that's what make me balance um like i say like it was amazing we meditated we did yoga together we travel and i was hoping to travel some more but you know it wasn't my decision even though the reason that I got part of it, I know it's kind of BS a little bit, but hey, some people sometimes lie out of mercy, maybe, because they don't want to hurt your feelings, even though I'm strong. And I can take everything. But I'm just really grateful, like I say, with the universe of everything. Like I say, I have to be somebody else there. And... I just wish her nothing but the best, regardless how everything happened. And let's see, let's see what happened. Another topic um, I try to focus on myself too, because there's, you know, I choose to, and everything happened in divine timing. I I'm a true. I, true, I truly believe on that. And I'm going to start a new job soon. My schedule is going to change. And... In cer certain aspect, I was getting to that point where I was just like, you know... Probably it's for me, time for me to kind of like put a stop and walk away. But I didn't know because, like I say, I love this person. Very much. Actually, I think... Genuine love is about accept that person who they are. Like I said, I never tried to shame her. And I felt accepted. I think that I probably, I let pass by a lot of things that probably I shouldn't allow. But I think it compensates for things. So that is what it is. I'm really excited of all the changes coming in my life and and I'm really proud that I can just sit here in the camera and and no being just in a lower vibration of madness and suffering. Like I say, I just want to remember the beautiful memories and learn to what, because there's definitely little things that I could have done better. But I'm a working person progress and maybe this came too because it's so funny i was kind of suffering for so long i was hurt for another situation and at the moment that i let the situation 
go. I felt like I took that. I they lift a really heavy weight out of my chest on on my soul, and I felt like I was in a weak spot kind of the deal just because. My heart was completely open and free for loving her, perhaps, because I was the only person that I was focusing on. So, you know, you walk away, then I wish that we can soon have a better closure and talk about things and telling you, like, thank you and and talk about the beautiful things. Like, we don't have to be enemies. We don't have to react or have things how everything that we are used to with past relationship even though we're not we were not let me get, whatever it is what it is like after i think after a thing you don't need a title especially everything that we accomplish and live together i think that was more pressure than having a freaking title so it is what it is but i will say that I'm gonna try because I always say I'm gonna make more videos, but I'm really happy to do this. And you know how I like to say, stay beautiful, stay fearless, be bold, be wild on it, and make it count. Namaste, beautiful people. <laughs>